Welcome to Investor Web, where we provide you with innovative ways to increase your financial potential. Investor Web is all about exploring unconventional and promising avenues for financial growth. Today, we're focusing on an area that's not only beneficial for your wallet, but also for our beautiful planet, making money with recycled goods. Yes, you heard it right. Recycling, a practice often associated with environmental conservation, can also be a profitable venture. With the growing awareness of sustainability and the increasing value of waste materials, there's an untapped market waiting for you to explore. From old soda cans to used electronics, there are numerous items around us that can be recycled and repurposed for profit. So whether you want to supplement your income or embark on a new business venture, this video is for you. Without further ado, let's delve into the 10 ways to make money with recycled goods. First on our list, recycling aluminum cans and bottles. This is a simple yet effective way to generate income and contribute to environmental sustainability. Aluminum is a valuable resource. It's endlessly recyclable and maintaining its quality throughout the process. Start by collecting discarded aluminum cans and bottles from your local community. You might be surprised by the number of cans you can gather from parks, streets or even your own home. Next, take your collection to a local recycling center. These centers purchase aluminum by weight and while the price fluctuates, it's typically around 50 cents per pound. So the more you collect, the more you stand to earn. Remember, it's not just about the money. Each can you recycle saves enough energy to run a television for three hours. So not only are you helping the environment, but you're also making a profit. Next up, selling scrap metal. Now, this is an interesting one. Imagine all the discarded metal items around you. From old car parts, broken appliances, to outdated electronics, these can all be potential gold mines. Collecting scrap metal isn't rocket science. You can start by gathering discarded metal items from your household, workplace or local community. There are different types of metals, each with its own value. Copper, for instance, is highly sought after due to its high conductivity, while aluminum is valued for its lightweight and resistance to corrosion. Iron and steel might not fetch as much, but they are more commonly found. Once you've collected your scrap metal, you'll want to sell it. Scrap metal yards, recycling centers, or even online platforms can be great places to start. Remember, prices fluctuate based on market demand, so keep an eye on the current rates. Selling scrap metal can be a lucrative business, and you're also reducing waste. Moving on to selling used electronics. Our digital lives are constantly evolving, and this often means upgrading to the latest gadgets. But what to do with the old ones? Well, they can be turned into cash. Online marketplaces such as eBay and Amazon are great platforms for selling used electronics. From old cell phones to laptops, gaming consoles to digital cameras, there's a market for almost every electronic item. However, before putting up your device for sale, it's crucial to wipe off all personal data. You don't want your personal photos or sensitive information falling into the wrong hands. Use the factory reset option on your device or consult with a tech expert if you're unsure. And if selling online isn't your thing, consider electronic recycling companies. They often offer cash or store credit for used electronics. With this method, you're not only decluttering, but also making some money. Next, selling used books. Now, this is a profitable venture that's been around for quite some time, and it's only gotten easier with the advent of the Internet. You see, there are countless online platforms where you can list your used books for sale. Local used bookstores are also a viable option, often offering store credit or cash for your pre-loved reads. The key to success in selling used books lies in the condition of the books themselves. Books in better condition will fetch a higher price naturally, so it's worth taking a bit of extra care to keep your books in good shape. Hardcovers, first editions and books by popular authors can also command higher prices. Think about it, each book you sell is not only a bit of extra cash in your pocket, but it's also one less item headed for the landfill. So turn your old books into cash instead of letting them gather dust. Moving on to selling used furniture. This can be a lucrative venture if you know your way around it. The first step is to assess the condition of your furniture. Remember, the better the condition, the higher the price you can command. Next, consider the style. Vintage or antique pieces often attract a higher price tag than generic mass-produced items. Now, where to sell? There are numerous online platforms like eBay, Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace where you can list your items. Make sure to take quality photos and write detailed descriptions to attract potential buyers. If you'd rather sell locally, consider thrift stores or consignment shops. 
They often buy used furniture and can save you the hassle of shipping large items. But the best part about selling used furniture, you're not only decluttering your home, but you're also giving these items a second life, promoting a circular economy. With this method, you're not only decluttering, but also making some money. Next, selling used clothes. Now, this is a fantastic way to declutter your closets and make some money in the process. It's all about finding the right platform to sell your clothes, be it online or at a local consignment store. Online platforms like Depop, Poshmark and eBay are perfect for this. They offer a vast market, making it easier to find interested buyers. However, it's crucial to remember that the condition and style of your clothes play a significant role in attracting potential buyers. Ensure your clothes are clean, in good condition and stylish. Vintage and unique pieces tend to sell particularly well. Take quality photos and write detailed descriptions to help your items stand out. Local consignment stores are another great option. They often do the selling for you, taking a small commission in return. So, turn your old clothes into cash instead of letting them take up space in your closet. Moving on to selling used car parts. Now, this can be quite a lucrative venture if you have a knack for automobiles. You see, certain car parts retain high value even after years of use, like engines, transmissions and catalytic converters. These items are often sought after for their, their durability and cost effectiveness. But where do you sell these parts? Well, the internet is your friend here. Online marketplaces and specialized auto part websites are great platforms to reach a wide audience. Ensure to provide accurate descriptions and good quality photos to attract potential buyers. On the other hand, local auto salvage yards can also be a viable option. They often buy used parts, refurbish them and resell to their customers. It's a win-win situation. The key is to know the worth of your parts and negotiate effectively. With this method, you're not only decluttering but also making some money. Next, selling art made from recycled materials. Now, this is where creativity meets sustainability. Art in all its diverse forms has the power to transform ordinary objects into extraordinary pieces. And when these objects are made from recycled materials, the story behind each piece becomes even more intriguing. Imagine, for instance, creating a stunning sculpture from discarded metal parts or a captivating collage from old magazines. Each piece is not just unique, but also carries a narrative of transformation and resilience. But how do you turn these masterpieces into cash? Well, the key lies in marketing. Share your story, the process behind each piece and its environmental impact. Art lovers and eco-conscious buyers appreciate the value of such pieces. You can sell your art online, at local art fairs, or even in galleries, the potential earnings can be quite impressive depending on the uniqueness and quality of your work. So turn your creativity into cash and help the environment at the same time. There you have it. Ten ways to make money with recycled goods. We've walked through a world of opportunities right in our trash cans. From the simplicity of recycling aluminum cans and bottles to a more niche market in selling used car parts, each method presents a unique chance to turn waste into wealth. We've also uncovered the potential in selling scrap metal, used electronics, books, furniture and clothes. And let's not forget the artistic avenue of creating and selling art made from recycled materials. Each method not only contributes to a healthier planet by reducing waste, but also opens up avenues for earning. The beauty of these methods lies in their dual benefit, environmental sustainability coupled with financial gain. It's indeed a win-win situation, a testament to the adage that one man's trash is indeed another man's treasure. Remember, your trash could be someone else's treasure. Thank you for watching InvestorWeb and don't forget to subscribe for more financial advice.